What's going on, YouTube? Reasonautics back for the first time in a long time, man. It's been a good about a good month, month and a half since I made a video last. But I figured I'd jump back into it, man. I've been really busy lately, a lot of work, uh, taking care of my son, you know, just draining the life out of me. Uh, but uh, video games have been there through it all, man. So I'm uh, basically making a video on what has been taking up my attention in the video game world for the last month, month and a half or so. Um, it's a couple of games, man. I'll just go through them, give you a little insight on them, uh, see we have a little discussion about them. Uh, first and foremost, man, always, I stay playing this religiously, man. Endless Ocean, Blue World. This is Endless Ocean 2 on the Wii. Man, this game is a gem, man. Uh, I love the first one so much. Anybody seen my videos or read my profiles or my comments on Game Pro or anything like that, and you know how much I love this game, this type of game. Uh, the first one, man, sucked up my life, man. I played that game, I think... If I'm not mistaken, the last time I checked the Nintendo channel, which takes, tells you all the stats of how many hours you played every single game, I think I had played that game over 80 hours. Endless Ocean, the original. Well, this one, man, is even better. It's better than the first one in every single way. Uh, much more marine life, much more animal life, period, both above the water and under the water. Um, four different times of day as opposed to day and night. Um seven i think it is six or seven worldwide locations uh, as opposed to just one fictional ocean in the first one uh man everything from the arctic the antarctic uh the the, the amazon river um the the pacific the mediterranean uh the uh off the off the coast of egypt you got everything in this game man a great compelling story that keeps you playing unlike the first one the story in this one is very engrossing you want to keep playing you actually want to do the missions to find out what happens next but like the first one you don't have to do the missions until you you damn well please you know what i'm saying it's just one of those free games where you go and do whatever you want uh for however long you want man graphical power of this game is i believe unmatched on the wii straight up Straight up. It looks so good, you could actually consider it on par with some 360 and PS3 games. And that's a big, big thing for the Wii. So, Endless Ocean 2, man. I love it. Uh, next on the Wii, bro, of course, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Being called by many, including myself, the greatest game of all time. I never thought I'd see a game that was better than Mario 64. Uh, and this one is uh, surprisingly, bro. It is amazing. Uh, it is just so much better than the original, and that's saying a lot because the original was damn near perfect. Uh, beautiful graphics, amazing gameplay, great controls, just so much stuff that you can do in this game. Uh, for a platformer, it's got a lot of variety, 3D levels, 2D levels, uh, mix, uh, you know, switching in between the two perspectives. Uh, Yoshi and his own uh, slew of powers, Luigi, Mario, I mean, all the different power-ups, Spring Mario, Cloud Mario, B Mario... Uh, Rock Mario, uh, Fire Mario, Ice Mario, they're all there, man, and it's awesome, awesome. Uh, just an amazing platformer, man. I mean, I've been playing this since I got it. I think I got about 103 stars now. I haven't gotten 120 yet. I know total there's like 240, so that's just mind-boggling, but it is an amazing, amazing platformer, and it is really the best game ever made across all, man, the sound, the graphics, the gameplay, the frame rate. Uh, the look and polish, the presentation of the game is just amazing, man. It will suck your life up if you like fun video games, which is what video games are supposed to be in the first place. It's just fun entertainment. Super Mario Galaxy 2 on the Nintendo Wii. Uh, after that, the last game on the Wii that I've been playing a lot of lately, started playing it again, and it just uh, reminds me of how great of a game it is, is Red Steel 2. <clears throat> man, this is an awesome first-person shooter slash adventure. Uh where you use the Wiimote and the Wii Motion Plus for shooting and also for sword uh, sword play has pretty much perfect one to one sword play motion so it's uh it's just awesome and the presentation is real nice too it's like a it's like a living breathing comic novel you know graphic novel it looks like a comic book uh, with a little 3D twist man it's really nice great soundtrack too and it's just a it's just a marriage of two unique genres the samurai genre and the wild wild west cowboy genre it mixes them very well just a great great game man i, I play this all the time man it, it never gets old when you get into those one-on-one -on -one or one-on-five when you get attacked by five enemy sword duels man it's just amazing and for the playstation 3 uh got these two games on father's day uh, my wife got them for me 
Um, <clears throat> I picked them out, but you know, she, she, that was her gift to me. Uh, first and foremost, man, I had to do it because it's one of the main reasons I got a PS3 was the sports games. The Wii is my system of choice, hands down, bar none. To me, it is the greatest console. I wouldn't say ever because my favorite console is the 64, but it is the, one of the greatest consoles ever made, and it's the best hands down in this generation, in my opinion, and in the opinion of a lot of people. But uh, one thing the Wii doesn't do very good is sports games, realistic sports simulators. Uh, and that's one of the main reasons I got my PS3. So I had to get this, man. Best basketball player in the world on the cover. My Lakers repeated this year, so, man, I had to get this. NBA 2K10, Kobe Bryant on the cover, the 10th anniversary edition. A special edition cover. And you see the game. You know what I'm saying? So, amazing game, bro. Graphically, it is just a marvel to look at. Uh, all the players are represented faithfully. Uh, they don't look all super exaggeratingly sweaty like they do in NBA Live. They move much more fluid and realistic as opposed to NBA Live. It's got a lot more game modes like the My Player mode where you make your own player and you go to the, the summer circuit, the D-Leagues. Uh, you get a uh, 10-day contracts on a team and try to see if uh, you can convince them that they need you. And you basically come up the ranks and make your life in the NBA. Uh, you got franchise mode, season mode, online play, 5-on-5 five five online play. Uh just amazing, man. Great, great, great basketball game. So much so much stuff in this game, man. Super fun. And last but not least, man, I'm not a big fan of the series at all, but this game has sucked up my life for the last month month or so. Um, it is the best one in the series, I'm told by many people, and it's one of my favorite games right now. I know I'm a little late in getting this game, but at least I got it. Grand Theft Auto 4. Like I said, not a big fan of the series, man. I really don't like the PS2 versions at all. Didn't really catch my attention. But this one is amazing because it takes place in Liberty City, a.k.a. New York City. And it is so faithfully recreated that, bro, I've never been to New York in my life. And I bet you if you take me to New York now, I could point out stuff from the game. You know, it's got everything from Times Square to the Statue of Liberty. Uh, bro, uh, it's, it's four different islands. You know what I'm saying? I've unlocked three of the four. Oh, uh, man, the Empire State Buildings, everything is there, man. The neighborhoods, the different boroughs, you know, and it's just a living, breathing world. Anything in that game that you see in the background, nothing is sprayed on, painted on the background. It's all accessible. You can actually travel there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just a great, great game. And the story is actually compelling, man. Uh, you know, the story of Nico Belic Belichick, or Belich, whatever his last name is, and his cousin, you know, coming off the boat from Europe or from England, wherever they're from, onto the United States and trying to make a name for themselves and come up it's just a great great story um just amazing graphics man and the missions are all entertaining man and it's one of those it's just like endless ocean in the sense that it's one of those free games i don't have to do the next mission till i damn well please man and i got a whole humongous city to explore man there is everything from strip clubs to shows <clears throat> bowling pool restaurants hot dog stands helicopter tours boating uh, bro, everything, racing, there's everything in this game. It's amazing, bro. Great, great game, man. So there you have it. Those are the games that have sucked up my life, <laughs> basically, uh, in this last month, month and a half, man. Uh, you know, I'm still doing the video game thing, man. Always will be till I'm 80 and my hands can't work anymore. Um, just, in, I'm just loving it right now, man. And as far as, uh, um, you know, what I'll be getting in the future, man, I think I made a video about it. Uh, Nintendo's E3 knocked my freaking socks off, man. And anyone out there, Nintendo hater or not, that can honestly look you in the face and say that Nintendo did not pull out all the stops and blow away everyone at E3 is straight up full of it. Because Nintendo's E3 was amazing, man. I cannot wait for so many games. Let's see. I can't wait for Metroid Other M. I can't wait for Goldeneye. I can't wait for uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns. I can't wait um, for uh, uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn. That looks great. Uh, man, there's so much. There's so much. There's another one. Uh, bro, Zelda Skyward Sword looks amazing. Uh, just everything, man. They're pulling out all the stops, man. And the 3DS is amazing. So, man, there you have it, man. That's what I've been getting into lately, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's it, man. It's a, it's a lot of Wii. It's some PS3. I've been playing a lot more PS3 lately than the Wii because I got these new games. But, man, I'm just I'm just loving it, man. So, y'all, leave some comments. Let's dialogue. Let's discuss. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'll see you when I see you, man. God bless y'all. Stay gaming. Peace.